Elon Musk is perhaps best known for Tesla and SpaceX. In recent years he's been very vocal about space exploration, and how it's important to humans to look up to the stars, and venture into the cosmos. Just recently he said that humans will be walking on Mars within 10 years, and hopes that this could one day be a second home for humans. One of his most recent endeavours is that of the Starlink satellites. SpaceX said the following on their website. SpaceX is leveraging its experience in building rockets and spacecrafts to deploy the world's most advanced broadband internet system, with performance that far surpasses that of a traditional satellite internet, and a global network unbounded by ground infrastructure limitations. Starlink will deliver high-speed broadband internet to locations where access has been unreliable, expensive or completely unavailable. Each Starlink satellite weighs approximately 260 kilograms, and features a compact flat panel design that minimises volume, allowing for a dense launch stack to take full advantage of Falcon 9's launch capabilities. With four powerful phased arrays and two parabolic antennas on each satellite, an enormous amount of throughput can be placed and redirected in a short time, for an order of magnitude lower cost than traditional satellite-based internet. End quote. SpaceX plans to send over 40,000 satellites up into space, which will eventually cover the entire Earth. The main reason for doing this is that Elon has said that it will far surpass any existing internet service, saying that pretty much every place on Earth will be able to have signal, and it will allow underdeveloped countries to use their service. Interestingly, just recently a new study revealed that the Starlink satellites might make Earth a point of interest for interstellar beings. Scientists have said that because there's so many of them they will register as a megastructure, and this could be detected by far out civilizations. This is due to the fact that these satellites will be constantly sending out signals. Zaza Osmanarov, a professor of astrophysics at the Free University in Georgia, said that these satellites could be detected by a radar somewhere in the cosmos. Zaza said that these satellites will be constantly sending out electrical signatures into the cosmos, and that there's a chance that they could be detected by distant civilizations. They had this to say. We consider the possible observational characteristics of a planetary megastructure, partially or completely covering an Earth-like planet located in the habitable zone. End quote. Interestingly, Zaza also mentioned Bill Gates and how he plans to spray the atmosphere, saying that the particles that are reflecting sunlight into space could also be detected by a civilization. There has been some controversy about this mission, with some saying that they're taking up the night sky and ruining the views. As of right now, SpaceX has said they want there to be over 42,000 of these satellites in the sky, but already there's been complaints from astrophotographers, and also mainstream scientists using telescope data, saying that these Starlink satellites are showing up in their data, and this could stop us from potentially making nearby discoveries including things like asteroids and other near-Earth objects that need to be monitored. A recent announcement from Elon though hasn't gone down well with many people. It's been reported that the space agency will be placing large advertising satellites in the sky, saying that various companies can contact them and have their products placed in the sky. News outlets reported that the space agency is currently working with a new startup company in Canada, called the Geometric Energy Corporation, revealing that this will be launched on a Falcon 9 rocket, saying that it will release the advertising platform before the rocket reaches the moon. Samuel Reed, who is the CEO and co-founder of GEC, told reporters that the satellite could be launched as early as 2022, going on to say that companies could buy spaces on these boards, which would show their products on their screens. He said the following, Hopefully people don't waste money on something inappropriate, insulting or offensive. There may be companies which want to show their logo, 
where it might end up being a bit more personal and artistic. Maybe Coca-Cola and Pepsi will fight over their logo and reclaim over each other. End quote. As of right now, it's unclear how this space advertising is going to work and how these ads will be shown so they can be seen by people. Interestingly, there are laws that state that advertising can't be obstructive in the night sky, but as some have pointed out, this all depends on the definition of obstructive, further saying that some of these laws are listed by certain countries, and that none of these countries own the cosmos, so some have said that it's likely that advertisers might get away with this. Although, as of right now, some articles are claiming that these advertisements won't be visible from the ground, and that they won't affect our day-to-day -day lives. As of right now, some of the biggest space agencies are working hard to put humans on the red planet, with SpaceX and Elon Musk revealing that they're confident that the first crew missions to Mars will happen in 2026. NASA has even said that robots will likely be sent to Mars first, and that they'll start to prepare underground bases for humans before they get there. Many people involved in these missions have said it's an exciting time to be alive, as many people will likely live to witness humans walking on Mars, and said that they might even be able to experience other forms of space tourism within their lifetime. So what do you make of these interesting announcements? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.